guys, Andy here. Okay, this is like the fifth or sixth time that I've tried making this video, but I've uh, I've made my smaller power wall. As you can see, I've done quite a bit to it, a lot of testing. Um, so I'm going to make a separate video explaining how mine works. Uh, I'll go through two really quick things. First one, this switch, it bypasses the BMS. I messed up because this wire here should have been on the other side. So the BMS negative should always be connected, you know, through to this so that it can be balancing it. Because without the negative, it's not properly balancing. So that was that was a mistake. I have to change that. I have to take these wires, flip them, switch them over here, you know, switch two wires. And the other one, this is just a cutoff for the positive side. This UPS is a piece of junk. It has a feedback loop where you get electrocuted by like 26, 18 or 26 volts AC if you touch that right there. Um, yeah, it, it works. It's, you know, it is what it is. It's really noisy. So just a comparison, this thing's like 600 watt, a modified sine wave UPS. Right, it's, it's this thing right here, okay? So you see how small it is? It's, it's very small. It's very small. This is 1500. 1500 watts. It's, it's massive. It's, it's the size. If I put it on here, it would take up this entire space. Right, so that's the difference between a shitty, really shitty modified sine wave inverter and, you know, uh, um, thanks. So anyways, yeah, it, it runs just fine. I got somewhere around 800 watt hours out of this pack of, uh, 5,000 milliamp hour, you know, things. So anyways, it works. So this is another problem. It, this is actually isn't doing it as bad as before. Before it was much worse. So that's, I think when it gets really low in voltage, then it starts really showing you how bad a modified sine wave inverter is. So anyways, um, this, this UPS does not charge up these batteries. It makes a lot of noise, but it doesn't, it doesn't do it. Uh, so I have to use this guy here to charge them up because it's a small pack it doesn't take very long so I'm gonna take this guy take them fully apart I've already been playing around with where to put them inside there I'll hide them inside there chop up all the wires resolder some bits and pieces and use this guy this double pull single throw switch it'll be here and it will turn this on and off and this will go this will be changed for a three-way light switch Oh uh, yeah, this is a three-way light switch. Um, let me know what you think about using normal household light switches as on-offs. They seem to more than handle the uh, amperage, especially for a small circuit like this. That only does like between 10 and 20 amps. Uh, I've, I've done like three or four videos now doing load tests, and my information was wrong. They just, the way this thing acts, I'm still getting used to it, so... Almost all my video is scrap, so that, that really sucks. I used uh, hot glue and zip ties to make things look really nice and neat. I've also put in 3S, 4S, and then this is a 7S series, so I can actually do a lot of testing. Um, I looked into buying 12-volt pure sine wave inverters, and it's too expensive. I, I don't have the funding for it, but I would like to do it, so... It has to be a pure sine wave inverter. It can't be one of these modified pieces of junk. Okay? So, anyways, if someone in Ontario has a 12-volt pure sine wave inverter um, and lives near Hamilton, Ontario, um, that'd be pretty cool if I could go over to your place and hook this up to it because I want to test out the difference between 24 volts and 12 volts. 3S and 4S and 7S, the same number of batteries, but different inverters and different, 
you know, 4S and 3S. So that'd be pretty cool. So anyways, it's it's built, it works, it's it's got a few problems, I gotta work on it. I'm having trouble finding enough time or willpower, because uh, I stayed up uh, one day, I just I just went at it and I got this all done. I stayed up till like 3 a.m. building this thing, just to get it done. And uh, now I'm just burnt out and a little frustrated. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it, regardless of the problems. Uh, but let me know what you think about that. I'm going to chew through some of these uh, comments. Alright. Oh yeah, also uh, it shuts off at 21 volts. So this, this guy shuts off at 21 volts, which is pretty good. I'm really happy with that. But I'm still testing it. I'm still trying to learn how, you know, all of its weird you know, how it works, because it's not, it's not just straightforward, it's not a math equation, unfortunately, well, it's a math equation that nobody's done yet, right, every time you build a different one, you change out the BMS or the UPS, you end up with different variables, plus the uh, circuit breaker here, so you've got lots of different parts that are fighting each other for, for their own, like, math equation of when they start up, when they shut down, if they charge the thing or not, right? Because I've also got this guy here. So all these parts have to have to fight each other to function together as a group. And that's where I'm having my problems right now. So, whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'm going to go through. So, Mar Marek, he uh, suggested using a CCCV controller. Uh, he said that the MPT7210A uh, can do what I want, which is uh, decide how much amperage goes in. So I'm going to look into that. Thanks, man. He also said that if you don't have 12 kilometer hour winds, then a uh, wind turbine isn't isn't good. Well, I figured uh, what I'd do is I'd, you know, I'm only going to buy build a small one, and it's going to be very cheap. So, like, I do research. I'm not, it's not because I need power, it's because I really, really like doing research, right? So, regardless of where I am and how much wind there is, I'm still going to build a wind turbine, but if you need power, the, that's a good point that he made, you know, don't waste money if you don't have wind, right? Uh, he also, he really likes the LII500. Uh, someone else asked, um, for like a review between the two I'm gonna get to it I'm I'm getting very confident with the differences between the two and I'm building up a list of problems with each one to put in my video I made and then took down because I did make a video about it but it it wasn't good enough so yeah there's that and Eric uh, Eric had a few things to to uh, to suggest Okay, so he was suggesting uh, to not ever run your load, your UPS, through your BMS. Um, yeah, because uh, of surging. So, like, you turn on the lights, that's a surge. You turn on a motor, that's a surge. Uh, the BMS doesn't like surges. So, that's a really good point. Um, thank you for that. Um, and he also said, decide your fuses, like these circuit breakers and fuses fuse them based off your wire gauges so this would be a choke point here right so he said uh do it for this not for your inverter or anything else in the system that's really good advice thank you um he suggested using the tp4056 uh charge pcb i've looked into those um i don't know i'm i don't think i'll go into that I'm, but I'm going to look into it more. I need to look into this stuff. So I also wrote down what Eric has as his current system. You know, two 170-watt solar panels. He has the 40-amp Make Sky Blue. Um, so he can expand. He, he has, like, almost 400. He can go up to almost 1,000 watts. So he's got a really good... Um, you know, he's got expansion options, which is good. He has 94 amp hours of Chevy Volt 6S. This is the reason why I wanted to write this down, is you have 6S, so they're 18650s that are 
six in series, like, so you don't have 24 volts, so you have like 29.4, so 25, you have a 25 volt system, can you, can you explain, like, that sounds like a bit of a shit show, I don't know, <laughs> it sounds like a bit of a shit show, man, like, I don't know, that's, yeah, you gotta explain to us, um, why don't you just add one more battery in the series? Can you even, oh, you probably can't even do that, because it's a, it's a module. Anyways, let me know, let me know how that works out for you. What exactly are you doing with that? Oh, uh, let's see, can I even read my writing? He wants to do a 24 volt bank with a 3 kilowatt inverter. Yeah, that's, that's my goal too, is I want a 3 kilowatt pure sine wave inverter. They're expensive, but they're worth it. And yeah, that's that's it for the comments lately. Uh, I've had a few people subscribe lately. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Uh, but anyways, I'm, I'm really happy I built this instead of just building another big power wall. Because uh, I've got another one ready to go. I just I just have to, you know, I've already got some of the wire already, all ready to uh, chop up and solder in. Uh, for this guy, I switched out to a, just a regular light switch to give this positive power, and the negative will just always be connected. Uh, I should probably just get another light switch out and put it over there so I've got another cutoff. But um, the whole top here, I have to rewire it to be the same as this over here, because I really like how this turned out. So, I'm going to... Remove all the electrical from here, which is going to be a bit of a bitch, and uh, swap it out. So, yeah. Uh, geez, this video is too long. I want it to be short. Anyways, hope hope you like the video. I'm going to go into more detail with this thing in my next video, but um, yeah, I just need to film it and then just upload it to YouTube. So let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate your constructive criticism your advice, and what you're doing with your systems. So, have a good day.